Here we have uh, my Raven Flying Wing from uh, a company called flyingwings.co.uk. Ah, mm, brew. Um, I've had it. Uh, yeah, good company. Good company. Uh, they specialise in uh, laser cut EPP aircraft wings, um, combat wings. Um, they've got a hovercraft. They do uh, slope wings. You know. Uh, 3D foam and stuff like that. When I've had, uh, I've had this one. About, I bought it about March time. It was my second flying wing. Uh, first one I bought was a Hobby King combat wing, um, which, as my first wing and quite an experience, it was an absolute nightmare to get it um, actually flying. When I did it, was it was okay. It was just they're so. The thing with wings is they're so sensitive to uh, C of G that. If you get it a bit wrong, they're an absolute ball ache, really, quite quite honestly. <coughs> you have to excuse the low light here. I've got... Uh, let's pop the light on. See, that might be better. That might be better. Um, um, so this one, yeah, um, I bought it in kit form, which is just the wing and the, the accessories, you know, the control rods, uh, horns, motor mount, uh, apply bits and pieces in here. And uh, bits and bobs. The um, specs are the wingspan's 820, 32 inches. Um, it's got the carbon fibre, all the bits and pieces come with it, the winglets and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then you have to put your rest in, which is just two servos, um, a motor, ESC receiver, the usual. Yeah. Um, when I first built this, <coughs> incidentally, the price. Um, and it's around about 30 quid, which is, for the fun I've had out of it and, um, and things like that, is, is absolutely brilliant, really. I mean, it's a nice big, it's a nice chunky wing. It's nice and thick, um, pretty light. Um, when I first built this, I built it really, really light with a, a ridiculously small, uh, high revving, Little motor and a 2S battery, and it was great. It did, it flew okay. A bit slow, you know, but um, it just got me used to the the characteristics of it and uh, all the all the CG worked out on it. And then um, after a little while, I upgraded uh, all the bits gradually. I put a uh, the motor on this one now is a strong power 2200 kV. It's about a 22 amp, 23 amp motor, and currently mm, it's pushing out. This that prop is a six by four APC. It's pushing out about 240 watts, which is way, way, way beyond the recommended uh, power system, and and because of that, I uh, was experiencing some problems in flight with um, loss of control on the. On the surfaces, which basically was the the uh, servos weren't strong enough, not enough torque on the servos, so I swapped them out for these. Uh, they're quite cheap, a new range from Hobby King. They're Metal Gear uh, digital servos, Turnigy ones. They're really, really cheap, but they're really strong. They're a bit noisy, but for this wing, uh, they're great. To be honest, um, 25 amp plush speed controller, and the. Uh, the lightweight uh, six channel Hobby King receiver for the 9X. I'll use this, not the 9X on this one. Um, other than that, um, I've probably got to use a 1300 battery, um, high discharge, a 3035C discharge. So the power system now with the with the servos the way they are now, uh, brilliant, holds perfectly, unlimited vertical, very fast. Um, don't know about what sort of speed it'll do, but it'll, you won't want to run after it. Let's put it that way. The um, the biggest issue with these, and there's three or four, four actually, we all bought one. Uh, the the crew that normally go flying together, we all bought one. And the biggest issue we've had mainly has been warping of the. Uh, some people have had warping of the um, the ailerons. Um, and the wing tips and one bloke, oh, Jeff's actually walked a bit on the wing. Now what this is, is 
Um, if you store EPP, it's great, absolutely great stuff. But if you store it or you leave it in the heat, it will will warp. There's no doubt about it. It will go. There's, there's no doubt about that. And my winglets, the stabilisers here went quite badly, and the these surfaces just bowed up a little bit. To, to stop those, I'll just put a, a carbon fibre flat uh, along there. And I actually replace these winglets with 6mm Depron, which is much stiffer. Um, it's not as crash resistant, it will snap, but it's much, much stiffer. And I'll just cut the old ones off, cut a template, and chuck them on, and it's uh, been great, you know. But it's something to watch out for. If you leave them in a, in a warm car, they will. They will warp so but um in terms of the flight it is brilliant i mean you could you can literally fly this at walking pace <coughs> uh, upside down you know you can fly inverted ridiculously slow and uh, roll rate on this particular one is, is absolutely superb um and it's just great fun i mean i'm waiting for a keychain camera, a proper decent one, HD one, to come so I can get some footage off that. <coughs> I should be able to mount it somewhere over it being so light. Um, <coughs> but another another little modification that you might want to do if you do purchase one of these wings is they really do fly better if you can set as much of the stuff down and flat as possible. Now I actually carved this piece out for the battery uh, lower than normal. Because I mean they do they do fly with all the stuff just plonked on, but obviously it's going to slow it down and disrupt the airflow. So I've set that down nice and low, ply mount in there, that on there, set these the ESC and the receiver down into the wind as well, and then a little bit of Velcro in there, and all the wiring. If you just tuck it away as best you can, uh, it'll fly better. Um, You've got this is the spar that they, they, they give you, which is just a flat carbon fibre spar, which obviously stops the, the flex. And it's a pretty stiff wing, to be honest. It, it is pretty stiff. And I have given this a real welly, yeah, really high G speed turns, and it's no problem. Uh, I've just put some couple of stripes on each side just for orientation when you, uh, you know, when you're flipping it round and blah blah blah. But uh, um, all in all, uh, an excellent wing, and uh, I think I'm going to go for a. A bigger version, right? Unfortunately, they don't do a, a big version, which is a shame because I'd buy a, I'd buy a Raven, if it, you know, a bigger from Flying Winds. If they did a bigger, much bigger wing up to about fourteen hundred, but I want to get something on put the GoPro on, which incidentally is filming this, the new GoPro three, very very nice. Just having a little play around with some of the settings to see what uh, what they come out like, but uh, hence the reason for these reviews. There, yeah. there we go. The Raven Flying Wing. Thanks for watching.